Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great summer. I'm sorry I've been MIA lately. I've been working on remodeling my kitchen, so it seemed like every day there was some kind of banging going on in there, which made it hard to film. So I'm back today, and today I want to talk trash with you guys. So what that means is that I have collected, let me get them without spilling them everywhere. I have collected all of my stuff that I have gone through and kept it in this container and the purpose of this is for me to give you a quick review on what it is I went through completely used it all the way up and would I um, consider buying it again I think it's a great way to um, go through the products, see what people like, what they don't like, and that gives you ideas of products that I know, you know, I've gone through completely, so I have a pretty good idea if, if it worked for me or not, and then maybe it's a suggestion for you as well. So if you wanna know um, what I have in my trash, then just stay tuned. Okay, so first off, the first thing I'm gonna grab is an Epiance uh, intensive nourishing cream now um, by the way I always put the description of everything I have in the description box so if there's anything you're interested in you could go down and find the link for it and then you could um, find where I got it from and more information about it so um, I got this online um, Epion's is a really good skincare brand and I have very dry skin so at night, I'm always looking for a really intensive um, moisturizer that's going to really work through the night and make my skin feel really good in the morning. And this does do that. In fact, I bet you, hold on, let me look. I think I have, well, you know what? I think everything's going to fall if I start digging too much. But I think I have two of these. I'll let you know as we keep digging. But I think I have two of these. And so... I've cleaned it all the way out and um, it is pretty pricey for sure you don't need very much I am honestly trying some other stuff right now that's a little more um, or less expensive um, not sure I like it as much as this so I'm still trying to find something that maybe doesn't have this high price tag but for right now that's one of my empties okay let's talk sheet mask I am a huge fan of sheet mask I did a video on sheet mask and I do them about once oh gosh they're just weeded through here I do them about once a week or so give or take there might be more in here if I find more I'll let you know as I get to them. okay so so far we have this one, I tend to buy a lot that have to do with hydrating. So this is one from the Yes, um, Yes to Coconut. It's a hydrating one. Um, I did like this okay. So I, that might be something I might get again. So there's that one. Now there's this brand that I have a couple of, um, the Leaders brand. Now, um, I got a Call Me Coconut, and I got the Pore Minimizing um, Camellia one. I will say this brand in particular I love what they do I'm not crazy about the type of mask it is like the actual mask it is so stiff that it doesn't form really well to my face and so then it kind of starts bulging out it doesn't make really close contact with my skin and so I'm not crazy about it I like the real thin ones that you know form really well and they stay put these ones are a little thick so I think I'm gonna stay away from them I like the serum that was in them but I didn't care for the the type of mask um, material that it was okay then I have um, Tony Moly I have a clear skin one I have a poor one I have this one this one's one of my favorites actually um, this is the Tony Moly let me see if I could pull it back I, I open these things all the way up and make sure I get every last cent of it the pureness with the hyaluronic acid hydrating I like that one and then there's this one which is orange refreshing so as you can see I use a lot of masks I absolutely love them love them they're a lot of fun and so that's those um, Nexus 
this is the Nexus Hemectris. I bought this uh, to put in my hair when I'm going to be styling it. Almost like a detangler leave-in conditioner idea. And I do like this, um, although I still continue to try other things, so I may or may not come back to this. So there's that. Um, here's one of my shampoos. I go through these all the time. This is the Macadamia Weightless Moisture Shampoo. It's a hydrating shampoo. I have another one I'm using now, and I've probably gone through about three of these. So definitely love that. The L'Oreal Infallible Spray uh, Face Spray. Um, setting Spray, I guess I should say. Um, I like this okay. I just like my other ones better. I really like the All Nighter from Urban Decay and the MAC. And so it was okay, but I probably won't get that again. And toners. Um, I'm all about finding the product, the right product for me. And so I've gone through a couple toners. I think I have another one in here that I'll probably get to at some point. But I use this one, the Dior. Um, I do like it. It smells really yummy. I'm just trying to remember what the smell was. It's like peony or something. Anyhow, it smells really good. But um, right now I'm using the Caudalie. So um, may or may not come back to that as well. And now we go to mask. Or not mask. I Sorry. Uh, cleaning wipes. Makeup wipes. Alright. How many do I have in here? Okay. This might be it. Alright. So I have the simple brand. I have two of them. So this one's the Sensitive Skin Expert Cleansing Facial Wipes. I have two of those. I like them okay. Now I have the exfoliating one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. This was a while ago. I'm not sure if I like this one as well or not. And then this is the one I really wanted to talk about. So in one of my hauls, I had showed that I got this Pons um, towelette cleaning wipe. The purple one, way too strong of a smell for me. I'm not a real sensitive smell girl, but this one, the smell, it, it oh, oh, it smells a little old ladyish to me, and uh, I don't know, it's really strong. It has something that's just very, very strong. So, I didn't care for this one. I am using the, let me see which one it is, the blue one. So, this one's considered evening soothing and I do have well this one should be a thing too it only has one left um, original fresh scent in the blue one I like this smell better than this one um, I'm still looking around I'm not really married to any of these particularly but um, definitely not going to get that one again just for the fragrance alone so that's cleaning um, makeup wipes I got this in one of my beauty um, subscriptions, the Avin uh, Thermal wa Spring Water. It was a lot of fun to have it, you know, to spray it on to moisten up stuff. Totally empty. If I wanted to splurge, I might get it again. It was nice to have on my makeup counter, just, you know, if I needed a little squirt of something. So that's that. Um, I do love this. I got another one, uh, the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. So I'm already using another one of that. So when I said I was doing the Epionce, um, which I do have the second one of, see here's the other one. So I do have two. So that's over there. Um, I was trying different products for my nighttime thing. One of the products I was trying was the um, Bobbi Brown uh, Face Base. I do like it. Right now I'm using, let me see if I can do this without knocking over everything. Right now I'm using the It Confidence in a Cream. I do like that. These actually remind me of each other. They're very, very similar. They smell the same. They look the same. Just saying. But um, I did like this. I'm not sure I was in love with it, but I did like that. Now we're on to my cellar waters. And I think I have... I guess I just have two. So um, I have the simple cleansing micellar water, which was okay, not my favorite. And then I went on to the Garnier um, micellar water, which is kind of a dupe for the Bioderm. And I do like that, although, I'll show you, I'll try to reach. Although I like the pink better for me. So this one's made for waterproof and it's just, it has a little more like an oil to it kind of and I prefer the 
pink one. So just let you know the difference between that. But that's an empty. I have a Mac Fix Plus, which I already am using another one of those. That I will always repurchase those. So um, Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Love, love, love. I already have, this is a smaller size because I was trying it out and I already have the bigger here. So um, obviously that was a repurchase. I'm making a big pile here. Um, okay, here's another skincare item. So Skin Medica, great brand, expensive, very, I'm cleaning it off, it looks just filthy. Uh, very, very pricey, but it's one of those things I get, I think you get what you pay for with this because it's an awesome brand. So. If you have trouble skin, either oily, anti-aging, dry, and you really need something that's going to work, I highly recommend the Skin Medica line. Um, but it is pricey, so you know you'll have to give up some Starbucks or something. But this right here is the HA5 Rejuvenating Hydrator, and it came in a pump. It was like a serum kind of thing, and you would put this on before your moisturizer as like an extra base of hydration. So I really like this, but to be honest with you, that's when I changed over to my Epionce cream. So I figured, you know, rather than a regular moisturizer and the expensive thing, I would just try to get a heavy duty moisturizer and then I would have to get that. So that was kind of my logic, but it is very, oh boy, kaboom, that is very good. So um, another Skin Medica item is the TNS Ceramide Treatment Cream. It's a moisturizer cream and I didn't feel like this did as much as I wanted it to. So I did use it up, but once again, very pricey. So I will not be buying that again. Although, you know, it, I think I had too high of hopes. Um, this is just a thing of uh, cotton rounds. Now the reason I put this in here was to remind me to talk to you guys about my new find that I finally did. I've always bought these cotton rounds for putting on my toner, cleaning off my face with the micellar water and I've seen uh, the Shiseido facial cloths for sale on Sephora's website and I've seen reviews for them but I never thought I needed them. Well, I bought them and I needed them and I will not live without them. They're that good. Next, I have the La Vanilla Healthy Body Butter. Um, smells so good. Mm, I already have the full size and the perfume. So obviously in love with that. Um, th another toner I had gone through is the Fresh brand of Black Tea Age Delay Instant Infusing Toner. I love this one probably more than the Dior and probably more than the Caudalie, so I'll probably go back to this one. I've been through a small one that I think was a point perk uh, from Sephora of the Ole Hendrickson True Serum Vitamin C, and I bought the bigger one. I love it because it smells like orange. Oh my gosh, it smells like, like tang or something. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But to be honest with you, um, I bought a more pure version of vitamin C that I got off of another website that I've been using instead of this. It's not quite so diluted. Elf brand, uh, the high definition under eye setting powder. I love this, it's inexpensive, it does a good job. The only thing I hate about it is it's so small, it's ridiculous, but I do love that and it's cheap, cheap, cheap. Obagi uh, retinol cream in the 0.5%. I've already gone through one and I'm on my second one so I definitely will buy that again for my Retin-A. And then I have, oh I wanted to share this with you. These things are so cute. I don't know what they're called. They're called, they have some silly little name like Twinkle or something but I'll leave it for you in the description box. I get them off of Amazon and they're face razors and I like to um, you know do like around my little peach fuzz hair and stuff and these are so inexpensive they work great they come in like a pack of three love 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 um, 
ABH um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I get the uh, taupe one and I've gone through more than one but this is the only one I have now. Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I try to get out more of this. I already have a backup one. I do like this but I'm really curious to try the Tarte uh, tape roll one that I'm going to try next but um, that was a good one and I have that in medium light for concealer and last but not least um, Kat Von D tattoo liner and trooper love this it dried out so I already have another one of those and I love that for my winged eyeliner so that's that and that concludes us now my empties is all done and we're done talking trash Hope you found this helpful, and um, I'll do it again when I have more trash to share with you. Have a great day. Bye.